This broadcast of Teachers Fight Night 15 brought to you by Bermuda Air Conditioning and Magnum Power Force Gym. And, and that yeah, I, I, I gave that run back, I gave that run to Tori as well, so for me, just two rounds up with my scorecard. And really, Teresa needs to kind of start to dictate the pace here. She needs to kind of turn us around a little bit. So far in the fight, Tori's been the aggressor, and really, as I say, for me, Teresa needs to do some work, turn us around, maybe try to land a couple of blows herself, obviously. Put Tori, put Tori back in the back boot. And that, that's exactly what needs to happen. Because so far, Tori is, is edging away with these rounds. And Tori see, comes even, up. even there, how Tori just jogged in. She wants yeah. want to make the... Yeah. She wants to set the pace. And she wants to be the aggressor in the round already. Initial contact is everything. And Tori is... I tell you one thing. She's fighting almost like she's on home home soil because she looks very relaxed and she's she's dictating this match. Yeah, I think clearly as she said as she said after the first fight, she she now knows what Teresa's doing. She feels comfortable with what Teresa has, and she feels she can come forward and be be more aggressive against that. And thus far, she really has. She's been more aggressive. She set the pace. She set the tone for the fight. Teresa swinging for the fences, going for some serious haymakers there. And that one, that time Tori catches Teresa on the side of the head with that right over. Yeah, and I think Tori is, al is almost goading Teresa into, into getting in close contact and not clinching. Yeah, which whereas, is... Whereas for me, she, to, Teresa really does need, she needs to get in tight. Clinch. When it comes inside, she needs to make a clinch. Make the referee break them apart. And thus far, aside from the first couple of rounds, she's not really done that. No. Which to me, that then hands it, I mean, although the referee should be stopping that. Yeah. Those kind of hammer punches, yeah, that, that's, that's not cool. Yeah. Uh, the ref's got to do a better job of uh, officiating these, uh, these blows. As the crowd shouts BDA. As the crowd lets their support be known to Teresa Parazzi. And this this round by the bell has come to a conclusion. And uh, Greg, I think I gotta give that one to maybe Tori by a whisker as well. I think Tori so. And I think at the moment this fight is starting to get away from Teresa. Tori's dictating the Momentum and therefore she's dictating the fight. <laughs> it's gonna come down, it's, it's starting to come down to a home uh, run. Yeah, and, and really, I mean, the last, the last couple of rounds, I mean, you can, you can see just by watching it how it's happening that that Teresa is almost getting goaded into, into the end tight boxing that, that really suits Tory's style. Right. Tori wants to be in close and she wants to be fighting just outside of the clinch, throwing sharp punches. And really what you what you call the dirty work. Whereas for me, Teresa needs to be more on the outside, she needs to be landing jabs and she needs to be landing cleaner work and cleaner jabs and it, and thus far it's really not happening. So really she needs to do something about it. She needs to change this fight around and she needs to change it soon. Sometimes it's hard to adjust yourself after you've been started a pattern and building a pattern let's see if Teresa can adjust her pattern to become more successful as this match progresses Tori and Teresa toe to toe in the Barkley gymnasium you know February the 2nd Tori comes in tries to find Teresa's body A little stomach from Teresa. Tori not really able to take advantage of it. Now this is the type of fight that it's Teresa been. needs to fight. Keep it close. Yeah, absolutely. This, this, exactly that. Exactly, Vince. Exactly. But 
But at the same time, Teresa needs to be doing more. She needs to be throwing more punches. Yeah, she does. She does. And I mean, that, that itself, that was a nice shot from Teresa there. That yeah, was. She kind of caught her one, but I'm not sure if that's going to be enough in itself to decide the round. Because really, that's the only real point she's landed. She definitely needs to pick up the aggression. She just has to stay within what she's been taught. But she's definitely got to get some more some more attack because right now Tori is to, to us she's leading anyway and that's a good combination that's better that's and better that's, Teresa I think she uh, wow I you, think, see, you see how the crowd react to that as well yes. I mean that's what Teresa needs to do yes she needs to get the crowd involved give them something to cheer for yes Tori Tori definitely felt the power of the Gumby in that exchange to me, it looked like Tori was even dazed on the ropes for a moment, Greg. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I certainly think they are. I mean, Teresa Carr by surprise a bit. That's what it takes sometimes. Because through the first half of the round, there wasn't much happening. Both the ladies were kind of, you know, they're kind of feeling each other out. And I think they're, Therese, they're kind of suited Tori a little bit, you know, because there was no big punches thrown, so Tori's thinking, I'm in control of the fight, I don't need to do much, I can just walk around and, and I'll survive, but right there when, Tori, when Teresa changed it up a bit and came inside and threw a couple of big punches, that changed the dynamic of the round and it changed how the crowd reacts as well. Yeah, I think, I think Teresa, that was one of the best rounds she's had in a while. Yeah, absolutely, and, and, and right now, the interesting thing is that how, how this round is going to react to that, because I'm sure Tori's coach is telling her, you know what? Forget the last round. Do what you did before. Come inside, force the pace, force the action, and put Teresa on the back foot. It'll be uh, interesting to see how Teresa reacts. I mean, right there, uh, straight away you can see how Tori came inside and started throwing punches. Tori came in for a good connection to the head, I must say. Right to the head of Teresa. As these two fighters continue to go forward, and they're giving That's us a, a solid fight. shot from Teresa. The best punch of that exchange came from Teresa there. I tell you, this this Tori could take a punch, Greg. She's not one to go down easy. She looks like she comes from somewhere where they throw a hard punch. Oh yeah, she, with respect, she is pretty mean looking, as they say. Yes, with most respect, she's a she's a very beautiful lady in person, but. In the, in the ring, she's a totally different animal. Worthy of any championship belt, as is Teresa, Greg. Absolutely, Vince, absolutely. As these ladies continue to bring on the entertainment, continue to push on the excitement. It's been a gruesome fight, rocking back and forward. And the momentum, the energy levels, have been going up and down throughout. Absolutely, ebbs and flows. It's going, it's going up and down on both <laughs> sides. And uh, it, it, it really, really must just give you a, uh, just a small picture into the world of boxing and training because I'm almost tired just from talking about it. So I can only my, imagine. My, I can feel my voice going hoarse <laughs> right now, Vince, I tell you. I tell you. We'll just win one more round after this, <laughs> I think. Oh, what a good shot by Teresa. Tori still comes out swinging though. That, that round was that round was hard. I might have to give that one to Teresa. Yeah, I, I had that round for Teresa as well, Vince. I tell you. This broadcast of Teachers Fight Night 15 brought to you by Bermuda Air Conditioning and Magnum Power Force Gym.